A lot of people are really into coconut yogurt these days. It's an awesome, healthy alternative to dairy yogurts. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make your own coconut yogurt at home. It's really easy, it's really simple, and it's super cheap. So follow along and make some yogurt at home. Type of coconuts we need to make coconut yogurt are the younger spoon meat coconuts, and that has the soft, easy to blend meat. When you bite into it, there's no crunch. It just dissolves in your mouth. And that has that nice yogurt consistency we're looking for. This is one of those types of nuts. So first we're gonna open it. We always hold the coconut from the flour at a little bit of an angle. So you're chopping away from your hand. I'm gonna pour out the water. I'm gonna use the machete and I'm gonna cut parallel to the grain, the flour to the tip. So we opened up our spoon meat coconuts. The tool I like to use to remove the meat is this right here. It's a little rubber spatula called the Coconut Buddy. And I like to use it is it's so much faster. You put it in between the shell and the meat and just spin the coconut around and it pops off super easy. We're gonna take the, the meat and we're gonna take it over the sink and we're gonna wash it and we're gonna get off this inner shell because we want our yogurt to be like pure white. To remove that, Use a potato peeler, super easy. So we're gonna take our fresh, clean coconut meat, I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces so it blends well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it up and we're going for like that yogurt consistency. So that's pretty thick, you know, it's not liquid, like the milk that we've made in the past. So we're just gonna add the tiniest bit of water. You don't need very much water for this at all. So this is our base for our coconut yogurt. You can see it already looks like yogurt, right? And I'm gonna put it all into a glass bowl. You can also use a ceramic bowl, but you cannot use a metal bowl. Now, this is a metal spoon, then there's a metal blade in this blender, but once we add our probiotics in here, it can't have any metal. Probiotics and metal do not get along and it'll actually kill the probiotics and stop it from being able to make our culture. So this is our yogurt base. There's no probiotics in this right now. So yogurt is a culture added to this. So you can choose any kind of probiotic you want. You could take probiotic pills and crack them open and put them in here. You can use a yogurt starter or you can even take your favorite yogurt brand and just add a few scoops. So I'm gonna use this yogurt starter but the most important thing is no metal. Glass bowl, wooden spoon. No metal from this point on. So we got our yogurt starter mixed. It's been inoculated with a probiotic. Now we're gonna cover it so that no bugs or anything get in there, but it can still breathe. And we're gonna let this sit in a warm place, can't be cold, and let it sit for 24 hours. So it's been 24 hours. We're gonna take off the cover and taste it. Now we can use metal again because the probiotic transformation has taken place. Mmm. So it has that classic tang, you know, of yogurt. Now, now that the process is already taking place, we're gonna put it into a mason jar and put it into the fridge. Coconut yogurt is a super popular alternative to dairy yogurt. It's a lot easier to digest for a lot of people. And the awesome thing is it's actually virtually free to make at home.